So here we are in Havana. We just came in with a plane load of food and medicines to bring to Cuba. Very exciting to be here and to um, see how appreciated it is by the Cuban people, not only because they have such incredible needs right now, but also because it's important for them to see the other side of the United States. When we see at the UN how the entire world is against the U.S. policy, uh, it's important to see that the American people are also against this policy. We want to thank all the people who helped us raise $100,000 to bring uh, the medicines and the food and the surgical gloves. Uh, we want to thank the Cuban-American community because we work very closely with Puentes de Amor. And they are Cuban-Americans working under very difficult conditions, many of them in Miami, where they have lost their jobs, where they've lost their places, uh, where they, uh, their, their apartments, because they are doing this work, humanitarian work, uh, for their relatives in Cuba. There's such a backlash against the uh, what we call the haters, the Cuban Americans that so hate the Cuban government that they actually are okay about taking out this policy on the Cuban people. So we are part of a global movement and we are so thankful for all the members of Code Pink and others who have helped us bring uh, this wonderful plane load here. And we want to keep doing projects like this. We're meeting with the people in the Ministry of Health uh, we're meeting with people uh, that work around uh, getting food to the Cuban population to see what are the priorities, uh, what more can we do. But of course, the most important work is when we go back home and we work on this administration and this Congress to push them more effectively to take Cuba off the list of state sponsors of terrorism and to say, let's normalize relationships with Cuba like we were doing under the Obama administration. Gloriosa, que morir por la paz.